I don't know. I've been thinking about it for many years. That one of these days, I'm I'm going to try to play some of the songs that I've done through the years, just for the on the piano, and it never really happened. But now, like at the beginning of this year, there was some free time, and I said, yeah, let's let's start and see what where we will end up because I wasn't sure really if it was going to hold together, if it was going to be boring, you know. But we did it sort of step by step, and all of a sudden we had like 21 songs done. I had a list of 40 or 50 uh, songs that I thought would be sort of suitable for the piano, excluding all the songs with, with lots of drums and bass in them. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, and then I listened through it all for the first time, and I thought, yeah, well sort of pleased with it because it's I mean even if it's just me playing the piano it's still I think it holds together and you can't really say this song is from 1972 or this song is from 2016 when you hear it like this it's and that that pleased me because okay I thought well I'm in there you know it doesn't matter if it was 40 years ago if it was last year it still it feels uh, I don't know it's personal Well, I've been, for, for, for the past 25, 30 years, I've been, well, mainly listening to classical music, preferably Johann Sebastian, uh, but lots of other stuff too, because there's a, there's a never-ending source of wonderful music out there, you know, it never ends. It's, uh, I mean, I, I won't have time to listen to all the good music that exists before I'm dead. So, yeah, that is very inspiring. Because I was sitting there and I said, I, I mean, I didn't know what I was going to play. I went to the studio to Lynn, she runs the studio, she's also the sound engineer. I said, well, what am I going to play? i try this one. Oh, no, not really. But uh, like um, the day before you came, the last ABBA song we recorded, I, said, I, I, I played that and said, well, yeah, it really works, you know, because that's really a song that is in need of the lyrics, because it's a fantastic lyric combined with the music. You take the lyric away, and all of a sudden you hear it's a really sad song, while the lyric is not. So it's the, 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 the contrast between the lyric and the music that makes that record good. So I wasn't sure, but I, yeah, I like that one. I don't write or read music, so now it's improvised. So if I did the same songs again, 21 songs, it wouldn't be the same. That's the way it is. Because I don't know actually what I'm doing, I'm just trying to, to not make too many mistakes, not having to edit too much. <laughs>